Oh, hey there. What's going on, everybody? Kenneth Holland. Right behind me here is a signless building, but it's actually the Stone Briar Center, otherwise known as the Stone Briar Mall, otherwise known as the Frisco Mall. But it's technically the Stone Briar Center. Anyway, it's a, um, it's a mall in Frisco, Texas, up the road from where I live, about a half an hour-ish. And um, part of the ongoing mall series, not that I chose to do a mall series, but I did one the other day on um, Grapevine Mills. But this one's not an outlet mall. This one's more of a straight retail mall. Was in the area. We're doing some shopping. I gotta get some shoes today, actually, some, uh, some new walking shoes, because my last pair, Skechers, let me down I'm not gonna lie anyway i touched on that earlier i'm not gonna beat a um so let's go in and let's check it out all right starting to cruise through the uh mall action it just opened opens on uh noon today so we got here just as it as they swung open the doors for our retail wallets to empty out our cash footlocker okay Possible footlocker's kind of overpriced, huh? Anyway, um, ready to ready to dump our cash into the great capitalistic drain. What am I ranting about? Anyway, we're in the mall. Let's go check it out. Now this is interesting. This is Kid Zania. And over here it says Kid Zania International Airport. By the way, I'm not, quick sidebar, I'm not zooming in while I record because it affects the audio. I just got my new microphone, a nice microphone, but I didn't have time to test it out this morning. So the next video should have the microphone. Anyway, got a little chunk of an American Airlines replica jetliner. Okay, just went up a level and here's yet another, ow, I just stubbed my toe. Another shoe place. Oh no, it, yeah, and it's called Shoe Palace next to Dillard's. Um, this mall, according to the statistics, Sun. That's a store that's been around a while. Um, five, le uh, five levels in the mall. 218 stores. It's a pan around here. Opened in the year. In the year 2000. What TV show is that from? It opened August of 2000. Buckle down that way. Used to get my jeans from there. They got kind of expensive. Well, everything got kind of expensive, didn't it? Doesn't look like much, but that hurt. I jammed my toe right into the marble baseboard or whatever the heck they call it. Ouch. If you watched my uh, video from a couple days ago at the Grapevine Mills Mall, they had tons of these massage chairs for relaxation that aren't relaxing i'll leave it at that okay i ended up sitting in the chair in this mall too and there's not some contraption digging into the center of my spine but the sides are like digging into my sides a little bit i think if you turn it on it probably widens out and then it does whatever it does you know kind of like herniates your discs and sends you right to the doctor I'm sorry, I shouldn't be so negative. I've I've never paid for, has any of you ever paid for a massage chair in a mall? This stuff scares me. So here's the pricing breakdown of the massage chair. So 60 minutes is $20.50. At the top it says 50 cents 
cash discount. I don't know what the discount's for. But you can relax and recharge. I can get a 60 minute massage by a real person for a little more than that. Not that I've ever done that. <coughs> Lip Lab for, at first glance, I thought it was a place where you uh, got work done. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me at this point in a mall. Actually, it's just a, it's just a lipstick store. Kiss On. Does anybody remember when Doc Martens were like the really famous boot? Like in the 90s, it was like made popular by the grunge scene. Now they're just like a shoe store. I didn't even know they were still around. That's pretty cool. Second mall in the last couple days, uh, Grapevine Mills also had a little merry-go-round for the kids. I don't think I've ever even seen another mall ever with a merry-go-round, but I, I could certainly be wrong and I'm sure that I am. All right, so we're in the food court. It's pretty big. It's really clean. Got some of the, the notable eateries. You got a little Starbucks kiosk. Wi-Fi plus coffee equals goodness. Now this is interesting, something I have not seen before in a mall food court. Self-serve tap beer. We've got Blue Moon Shiner, Miller Lite, Coors, a couple others, I think Yingling. You put the money, I'm trying to look here, see where you put the money, maybe you pay them and they give you a voucher. Or maybe, maybe it's just free beer. Oh, that would, that would be something. So I went to look for the person behind the counter to talk about the, um, to ask about the tap beer, how you get one. I'm not gonna get one, but they're not there. Maybe they've had a lot of beer and they're taking a break. See at the Grapevine Mills, most of the shops were um, outlets. And here's a coach. These are full retail stores. You have your token movie theater. You got the AMC theater. But I don't say that negatively. It's probably a good theater. And over behind it down there, again, I'm not going to zoom in today. I apologize. Is Cheesecake Factory. And I like Cheesecake Factory. But did you know it's one of the highest average calorie per dish restaurants in the world on earth sorry I almost forgot you can't do a mall tour without including Dave and Buster's eat drink play I think it says watch anyway okay I've been meaning to get some cheap Tilly sunglasses because they're they work pretty well and they're like 15 bucks or something. I'm gonna go in for a quick look. I found the sunglass case here, but none of these are the Tilly sunglasses, I don't think. Some Oakley, Nixon, and Ray-Bans. Hmm, they may not have them. I found these, but I, I'm not feeling it. 10 bucks, price can't be beat, but I, 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 I don't know. I decided against the sunglasses. They didn't have the style that I wanted. Sometimes you have to be, um, you have to be patient for that right style to come, just come along. So we'll keep looking. We might, who knows what we might stumble onto. Oh, check it out. A record store. A freaking record store. So I just talked to the gal in here. Most of the stuff is reissue vinyl, but there's another section that I'm gonna look at in a second that's um, collection vinyl. I'm assuming she means, oh, look at this, gold vinyl. Wow. I, I assume she means um, like original, semi-original printings that are being resold. We'll check that out in a second. This takes me back when I was, when I was a kid, by the way, because I'm older. I embrace it. I embrace it. I'm older. Vinyl is back. This is all collection stuff. Wow. Paul Revere and the Raiders. I met two of those guys years ago. 
Streisand and Christofferson. This is actually really cool. Eddie Money, real name is what? Comment below, what is Eddie, what was Eddie Money's, R.A.P. by the way, what was his real name? Paul Simon? Huh, little you know who? Little Dino Martini? Oh man, that's it, I'm moving back to Palm Springs, just seeing that record. We're going back to Palm Springs, putting on Frank 24 hours a day. I think that's might be earth wind and fire well it's not very crowded it's a pretty big mall it's not as big as the um not as big as grapevine mills it, it's not as uh not as many kids running around which that's not good or bad it's just what it is it's more of a i think it's more of an adult oriented um experience Dick's Sporting Goods right over there. The Sporting Goods store that pretty much took them all out of business. Okay, I'm now officially in shoe shopping mode. Um, I'm at Dick's Sporting Goods at the shoe section. But I gotta say, they're, the shoes here are really expensive. Look at this. Which is, well, it's a, well, 109, it's an Air Jordan. 109's actually not that bad anymore. That's the scary thing. Okay, I'm still in Dick's, but the shoe shopping is officially out at Dick's. It's too expensive. I found some outlet at the place the other day, the Grapevine Mills. It was um, half the price. So I think I'm, I think I'm gonna go back there. I think I'm gonna go back there to get my shoes. So Sandra, you uh, you got something in Nordstrom? Yeah, I bought a t-shirt and some lipstick, bombshell. Clamshell? Bombshell. Bombshell. Bombshell, my favorite lipstick. Bombshell, bombshell. Boy, I'm gonna crash into people. Be careful, I'm walking. All right, I'll be careful. Crash in <laughs> I don't want to crash. Lululemon. I used to do deliveries to Lululemon out in uh, Fort Worth and South Lake. That company, let me tell you, that company makes a lot of lettuce. Some people don't know that Nordstrom has their own coffee bar, the E bar. It's actually really good. They actually make really good coffee. Um, I actually find it preferable in flavor to the bucks of star that's just me that's just my opinion they're both good but e-bar's not too bad yet another kiosk we got the crepe delicious look they got some nice snackies berries smoothies milkshakes lazy oh chicken too okay all right we're gonna keep going back down the it's starting to get more crowded now people are starting to filter in you got your Williams Sonoma pottery barn ladder rack chocolatier Swiss so I guess oh like expensive candy quay sorry I'm zoomed in you're gonna have to deal with it apologize Sephora, Lego, North Face, Bath and Body Works, Trendy Charms, Kiosk, don't know what that is. We're doing it, we're cruising the mall. We're capitalizing and we're spending money so the government can take it and spend it on whatever the hell they spend it on. Surf City Squeeze, apparently they have to die for smoothies. They've got chillers, create your own power smoothie, signature smoothies. I gotta tell you though, this, this stuff has a ton of calories, so be careful. A lot of hidden, a lot of hidden calories. They got their, Sandra's, she's, she's, she's getting one brewed up here. 
probably with some fruit. Well, I guess that's what a smoothie is, huh? Surf City. Surf City's actually been around a long time. They've been around a long time, Surf City Smoothie. Yeah, but they don't, they don't have very many around. There's not that many around, huh? No. What are you getting in yours? Strawberry banana. Strawberry. They have the secret ben mix they put in. Secret mix. They put in. It just makes them so yummy. All right, I'm going to try a sip when it's ready. Okay, Surf City Squeeze Smoothie smooch taste test strawberry banana smoothie apparently that's the flavor right uh, i'm gonna try a sip hang on Aren't they yummy? oh that is really good actually that's a that's a real smoothie that's a real smoothie smooth it's spectacular. Okay, as we head back out towards the uh, parking lot, we're in Dillard's. For some reason, I always I always confuse this with Harrods. I don't know why. That's really goofy of me. Anyway, so this uh, this mall vlog is going to come to a close, but fear thee not. Ooh, watches. Yeah, a lot of low end stuff. Not that I can afford high end. Anyway, um, more vlogs, maybe some more mall stuff. I don't know, it's kind of, I just like being in here because the air conditioning is good. So that's it, that's gonna do it for today the Stonebriar Center slash mall slash Frisco slash capitalistic wallet drain. Don't trip. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I do more mall videos and more videos of possums. I'm not doing possums. What am I talking about? All right. See you in the next one.